Hello everybody and welcome. Right, okay, so today is uh, unexpected. I did not think I was going to be getting Chiori, but this is my free-to-play account and I use Navia an awful lot on it. So although I was saving up for Nouvellette, which probably would have been a better idea, but hey-ho, uh, I thought, well, I'll stick 40, 50 wishes in and I have got Chiori, which is interesting as you'll find out when we go through what Chiori's kit and, and talents are. Right now, I wasn't expecting to get Chiori and therefore did not pre-farm anything, which means, you know, level 20. I have the stuff to go up to 40. I'm just lacking the Mora. So I'll have to do something about that. Anyway, for now, Let's just show you what she does. So these are her normal attacks, very boring. But you know, it's a four hit combo. And she has a, a charge attack. She kind of looks like she's using two swords, but obviously really she's just using the one. I've got her using the Harbinger of Dawn because it's actually got loads of stats and she dual scales on both attack and defense but perhaps slightly more defense than attack and therefore she she doesn't lose much from it being a three star low base attack weapon and she gains a lot more from the fact that it comes with a bunch of crit damage and quite a bit of crit rate as well if you know you can keep her hp above 90 percent so this is a, a great free to play weapon for her which was one of the considerations i had when it came to whether i should get her or not i want her to be somebody who is easy to build and doesn't require you know this signature weapon which on a free to play account i'm just not going to be getting she is a geo user of course so i have got her on the golden troop set because it, she does the vast majority of her damage with her skill, as you're about to find out. You can also use Husk of Opulent Dreams, but um, yeah, I've got like six pieces on Husk at the moment, and a fair amount more on Golden Troop. The only major problem I've got is this Sans should be attack percent or defense, depending on what you've got the best substats on, but I don't have either on Golden Troop, rather annoyingly. So I've just shoved what I do have in there, which is an HP percent, which will do just until I get something better. Like literally, it's it's horrific. I need to need to go to the domain, clearly. I do, as luck would have it, have a geo damage bonus goblet though, so that's nice. So ideally defense, geo damage, and then crit damage or crit rate. I could put a four star crit rate in actually. She ascends with crit rate. So building crit rate is a lot easier on her than it is on some characters. Right, her skill, if you do attack, she just zooms forwards and then does some damage and puts down her little tomato. And if I had a geo construct, there'd be two tomatoes. We're going to have to go a little bit away here actually so that um, I can demonstrate that because I need to change the party. I didn't think about this before I actually started doing it clearly. Now I've got Ningguam on the team, I can show you what I mean. So with her skill, if you hold it, she'll zoom up and then if you use the skill button again, she'll change to the next character mid-air. Now, because I've put a geo construct down, you'll notice there's actually two of these tomato things which is cool. Uh, I should probably also mention, if you do an attack after, then she gets a, a Geo Infusion, which lasts five seconds. Don't waste my time. <laughs> Jade Screen blocks that, that's cool. She has 100% uptime on her skill, which is nice. Uh, and she can only ever have two of these. If you get her constellation one, then it will free you from needing to have a geo construct in order to create two of these tomatoes. Have a taste of this. <sighs> oh, dude. It's really not your day, is it? Uh, my Ningguam's not built, as you can tell. But I tell you what, 
considering I haven't built Churi properly, I'm actually quite impressed with the damage that she does. Um, you know, because this is a very much not built Chiori. Level 1 talent, you know. Does have a fair amount of crit damage. Oh, and I forgot to mention her burst is just a, a slash of AoE Geo damage. And an awesome an animation. I've got to say, I like that animation a lot. She needs very little energy recharge and her burst is not an essential part of her kit at all. You just you can just use it when it's up and that's fine and dandy. So that's basically how she works. It's There are a few other things. Let's just have a quick look at talents and go through what we've got. So her essential one talent is the thing that allows you to switch midair if you want to the next character just by doing the skill button again after you've just done it. So if you hold the skill button aim it in the air and then you press skill again you can change to the next character in your uh, in your party so that's that's cool or alternatively you can just do an attack with a normal attack with Chiori after holding the skill and then you'll get a, a geo infusion so that's that's all cool and dandy her a4 passive is basically just giving her a geo bonus for 20 seconds once somebody summons a geo construct which is great except i tend to use her with navia which means no geo constructs i've only had a 10 seconds so I tend to is a strong strong phrase but you know i am very happy with how things are going so far oh and she's got a, an exploration passive that basically means provided you've got a custom set of wings somewhere on the team you will get a, a movement in, increase of 10 percent day or night which is pretty cool. So constellation wise, number one will basically eliminate the need to have a geo construct in order to get the second tomato, and it, it it's pretty good. It's I'd say that was her best constellation. It's um I'd like it, but this being a free to play counter, I don't know if I'm going to get that. Probably not. Might not even bother trying for it. We'll see. Probably will, to be honest. Let luck decide. That's what I'll do. C two basically summons a simplified whatever that means, automaton dull when she does her burst. So it kind of gives you more of an incentive to weave your burst in there. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Cool. Skill increase, three levels. Nice. C4 means that she gets the same simplified thingy-majiggy uh, after she uses her skill. So that's great, I suppose. Bit more, bit more damage, bit more geo damage. Why not? Uh, upgrades her burst by three levels, also nice. What C6 does is it will uh, mean that once you've done a, a follow-up effect, so either changed character or got the Geo Infusion on using her skill, it'll end the cooldown of using her skill, more or less. Which is great, because it basically means she can keep her Geo Infusion up 100% of the time nice and easily because it's five seconds of geo infusion and you basically got like was it three seconds four seconds very little anyway uh on her skill because of the the cooldown reduction so that's awesome and what it also does which is quite important actually is it links her normal attacks to her defense it gives her defense scaling on her normal attacks which is otherwise missing. So it kind of enables a much more DPS-y on-field playstyle, which is often what the limited banner C6s do when you have a support character. They do tend to give that support character the ability to, like for example, uh, with Farina. If you have her C6, then she becomes a, a viable on-field DPS, or Yolan for that matter. Anyway, brilliant. So that's all cool. Not going to be getting any of those high constellations, but constellation one, I think, is a, is a great stopping point, a great early stopping point. Talents-wise, obviously, vast majority of her damage is her skill, so level that up first, then her burst, and then normals, if you're going to use her as an, in an on-field play style, which you can do even at C0, because she does get five seconds of Geo Infusion, but... I'm probably not going to bother with that because I have Navia and she gets more Geo Infusion more regularly. So it makes more sense, I think, to just stick with that. Pretty pretty simple character. I'm enjoying her an awful lot. And um, 
Hopefully she'll make my Navia team, in particular, significantly better than it's ever been before. Because I don't have Zhongli, and I don't have Albedo, and I absolutely cannot stand the, the Geo Traveller. I'd rather just go in there with a three-man team than use Geo Traveller. He's just the, the Geo constructs that he sticks all over the ground, I find them really annoying. <laughs> So yeah, I've been looking for a second Geo that I can put with Navia. I did think about using Yun Jin. I got a copy of her whilst wishing for Chiori, but Yun Jin doesn't really, I mean, she would have the effect of evening out Navia's damage a little bit by buffing her normal attacks. So it's not quite so skill dependent, but I think Chiori is gonna do it's going to add a lot more damage to the team than the bit of Young Jin's buffing, buffing that she would otherwise have. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Obviously, if I was going into the Spiral Abyss as opposed to, like, the open world, I probably would change Chevros to Benny. Although I'd have to watch the Harbinger of Dawn's passive, the 90% um, you know, cutoff on that, that crit rate bonus. So that would be something to bear in mind. Open world, I prefer Chevros because she can just heal, doesn't need, not tied to a burst or anything, so that's why this is the team that I tend to be using. Think? Cool, huh? The ability to change character midair is unique to Chiori at the moment. I don't know if it's something that other characters are going to be able to do at some point, but for now, it's her thing. Yes, I have a nasty feeling this is going to go badly, but we're going to give it a go. You know, it's for uh, for science and whatnot. I wait for them to do their little. Stop right there! You ask for it. No. It doesn't help that I've um, oh, I've recently changed the. Uh... Now you see that's just annoying. No, we're not doing that. Chiori's skill changes to the next character down, and I normally had this team the other way round. Ouch! I'm fine. And because I had it the other way round. What would happen is she changed to Zhang Ling instead of to Navia. The only slight problem with this is it means my muscle memory is still adjusting. Oh. Okay, now we're in business. Oh, one of them has stopped doing its own thing. Ugh. Oh well. Alright, let's, um... I like the way her skill doesn't have any downtime. That's always nice. So if I pop down the tomato, and we'll just wait. And I should get it should be off cooldown before the tomato disappears. It, it attacks every three seconds, so I'm gonna get a huge amount of damage out of it. Obviously it's a lot better if you get two of them. So Oh, and it, you know, it is a construct, so I believe it can be destroyed, and it can certainly be moved around or swirled about the place. Just positioning it, quite fun. In this sort of I think she's good for Geo in general. I think she'll probably be an upgrade to Albedo in a lot of teams, although I don't have Albedo, so 
it's unfortunately not something I have any personal experience of, but um, yeah, I think she's a, a good character, and I am pleased that I've got her in particular on this free-to-play account, which does rely quite heavily on Navia uh, to be sort of, you know, get me through the spiral abyss for the most part. Still, I'm 36 star the spiral abyss, but on this account, I have on my proper account, of course. But yeah, on, on this account, I've been struggling to get enough uh, enough damage out of both teams, really. M main problem is I haven't leveled up the artifacts yet, because I haven't got the resin. So that's something I'll be working on, and hopefully I'll, I'll get that, you know, get this account 36 starring. You know, I'd like to think if I just concentrate on these characters a month, maybe? maybe a month's worth of resin hope you've uh, enjoyed the video and found it interesting and you know and i hope you uh, win all your 50 50s and get your copy of chiori if she is a character that you are interested in